The immunodot immunoassay test is a dot blot ELISA where specific antigens are spotted onto a nitrocellulose-based reaction strip in order to simultaneously test for the presence of multiple patient antibodies as an aid to diagnosis of infectious or autoimmune diseases. You can also access all of our complete package inserts from that website by using your email as an ID and any password you commonly use. This video is for the purpose of demonstrating the method followed for immunodot immunoassays, but you should follow the complete package insert for performance of any immunodot kit. Before starting an immunodot assay, turn on the workstation. From the kit, remove the reaction vessels provided and load them into the block on the workstation. You'll need four reaction vessels for each patient to be tested. The reagents in an immunodot kit are labeled one through four. Reagent one is patient diluent. Reagent two is an enhancer reagent which improves assay stringency. Reagent three is a conjugate used to bind and mark patient antibodies which may bind the antigen on the reaction strip. And reagent four is the developer used to make the rea reaction visible to the naked eye. Fill the reaction vessels with two mLs of the kit reagents one through four with reagent one followed by reagent two, three, and four. Just like other immunoassays, there are washing steps between reagent steps and the wash used in the immunoassay is simply distilled or deionized water available in any laboratory. For the small workstation, you simply fill any clean container with distilled or deionized water for the washing steps. The large workstation comes with an accessory container for the wash, which you can see behind the workstation here. After each of the reaction vessels is filled with the appropriate reagent and you have the wash container ready and filled, make sure that the workstation is up to its required temperature specified in the package insert. Using the thermometer provided with the workstation, assure the proper reading as specified by the workstation package insert to assure proper reagent temperature in the reaction wells. The next step is to add the patient specimen. Add 10 microliters of each patient serum to the diluent reagent one in the reaction ve vessel number one. This creates the working dilution for the assay. Here we go again. It's important to pre-wet the reaction strips in the wash to optimize reaction with the patient serum. Simply dip the reaction strips into the wash. Okay. Immerse the reaction strip into the first reaction vessel containing the patient sample and assure complete mixing of the patient sample and diluent using several quick up and down motions with the reaction strip. Allow the reaction strip to incubate with the diluted patient's serum in the first reaction vessel for the time specified in the package insert. This time varies by kit type and is dependent upon the antibody type for which you're analyzing. After incubation, remove the assay strip from the first reaction vessel and wash it by swishing 5 to 10 seconds in the wash trough.
place the reaction strip into the second reaction vessel containing reagent 2, the enhancer. Again, mixing the rea reaction with a few quick up and down motions. Incubate in vessel number 2 for the specified time. After incubation, remove the assay strip from the second reaction vessel and wash it by swishing 5 or 10 seconds in the wash. Place the reaction strip into the third reaction vessel containing reagent number 3, the conjugate. Again, mixing the reaction with a few quick up and down motions. Incubate in vessel number 3 as specified in the package insert. After incubation in vessel number 3, remove the assay strip and wash it by swishing it 5 or 10 seconds in the wash. And then, very importantly, allow the reaction strip to soak in the wash for 5 minutes. Remove the reaction strip from the soak and place the reaction strip into the fourth and final reaction vessel containing reagent number four, the developer, again mixing the reaction with a few quick up and down motions. Incubate in vessel number four for five minutes. After incubation, remove the assay strip from the reaction vessel and do a final wash by swishing it for five to ten seconds in the wash. Now blot the assay strip gently with a clean paper towel and allow it to dry for a few minutes. After blotting dry and allowing a little dry time, read the assay strip. A positive is seen as an easily read blue dot. For assistance in interpreting a dot, please contact our technical services. GenBio has aids to interpretation since dot intensity relates to the amount and quality of the antibody binding to the reaction strips spotted antigen and may vary by patient just as it does in all immunoassays. Please refer to the immunodot package insert for complete assay instructions and for results interpretation. The immunodot immunoassay is a fast enzyme immunoassay for determining the presence of multiple patient antibodies simultaneously with minimal equipment or supplies.